anyway guys welcome to the first episode of minecraft law and order legacy so we're gonna play we hit play got this okay play this let's play in the criminal justice system the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups the police who investigate crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders these are their stories So, um, so here's first. Got a hundred twenty FPS on this game, man. This is good. Okay. So. Welcome back to New York, Ray. Ray Curtis from the 27. Homicide. This is my case. Mine too, now. Olivia Benson, SVU. SVU? Yeah, I got a call the victim showed signs of sexual assault. Your lieutenant said you guys were a little short-handed and my partner is on leave. So I'm here to assist. Yeah, department cutbacks. Everybody wants more cops, nobody wants to pay more taxes. And now we're down one more taxpayer. Who is she? Name tag says Rachel. Judging from the uniform, she was one of the housekeeping staff. Well, up until a few hours ago. So I guess someone didn't like the mint on their pillow. Rachel, so. Her name is Rachel. That's what I found out so far. I love how bad the graphics are in this game. It's a good game, I gotta say. Play it like once. Build it, bro. The graphics are actually, yeah. Uh, pretty, pretty bad. But now I'm getting 120 FPS, so, uh, that's actually okay. It's good. Okay, here we go. Hola, soy Detectivo Ray Curtis. Soy Teresa Restrepo. Restrepo? Is that Colombian? Yes, how'd you know? The neighbors across the hall when I was growing up, they made the best patacones. I get hungry just remembering. I need to ask you a few questions. You okay to talk? Yes, believe it or not, I've seen worse. Uh, so, um, looks like we have some topics. The only topic we currently have is ID victim. So we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to ID the victim. Let's start with an easy one. Can you tell me the victim's name? Maybe. I, it's, it's hard to remember. So many girls working here. Everybody always coming and going. I just learned to read the name tags like everyone else. Well, could you try? For me? Sure, you got nice eyes. Uh, let's see, um... It wasn't Latina, it was, uh, ah, it was Rachel, I think. Okay, uh, do you believe her? Yes, I actually do believe her. Because it looks like she was actually thinking, and also on the name tag it says Rachel. So yeah, we're going to hit yes. Great job, Oh, I'm a good detective, I know. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the compliment. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, no worries. Can you back to the demon? Benson said the victim's name tag says Rachel. No! No! Okay, I'm sorry. Great. Sorry guys, this Thanks, is the worst start ever. Okay. New topics. Yes, okay. What did I start? I think I just See anyone suspicious people. hanging around lately? Yeah, the hotel is full of them. Lots of old businessmen always staring at you. Ugh. Okay, how about anyone especially interested in Rachel? No, I, I don't think so. She didn't even have a boyfriend. How long has she worked here? No say, um, she was pretty new. Started last month, maybe? She have any trouble with anyone? Trouble? No, not her. She was nice, you know? Quiet, polite. Actually, no, never mind. What were you going to say? Well, she just never really seemed like one of us, you know? Like, like she had something else going on. Always watching everything and, oh, and tapping on her phone. Era una adicción. Phone? You say she liked to use her phone. For what? You think she was earning a little extra money? <laughs> what, like John's? Are you asking, did I think she was a whore detective? <laughs> I don't think so. But uh, who knows? It would explain a lot. 
Anything else about the phone? She was always texting. Always. She also did some weird stuff. She took pictures of the rooms and, and even some guests. For a while, I actually thought she might be a cop. Where would the phone be now? Probably nearby. She always kept it close. One last thing, Teresa. It would help us if we knew the last place Rachel might have been. Do you know which room she would have been cleaning? That's the weird thing. Today was her day off. She shouldn't even be here. So what was she doing all dressed up for work? You're the detective. You figured it out, Guapo. Okay, we did our first interview. Let's go. Let's go to the next scene. Come on, guys. Hey, Benson, what you got? I'm seeing a lateral bruise across her throat. Not finger marks. More like a pipe or a cane. No sign of a murder weapon? Guess we better start looking. While you were busy being charming, I wrote down a couple of things to keep an eye out for. Her ID, her purse, her day planner or notepad, and of course any DNA evidence from her attacker. Might be under her fingernails. And her cell phone. Teresa mentioned that might be important. Okay guys, so let's just go take a look. Okay, search, just search. Okay, um... Okay, I know. Okay, good. Later. We got our cell phone. Okay, so we found the victim's cell phone. Uh, we have some ID. Rachel Trevino, 27 years old, lives at 600 East 5th Street. Over in the East Village, if I remember right. Okay. Next off, we gotta do highlight the hands up. Broken fingernail. She scratched them up pretty bad, I bet. Some kind of debris under there. Better get a swab for DNA. Okay, there we go. And then if we go all the way down to here... And you highlight this here. This could be Rachel's yes. purse. It's not coach, but not cheap either. Someone was taking care of her bills. Then we gotta look at the notepad as well, because that's... Come on. Notebook. Just a couple of notes. Wider media. What the hell does that mean? There's a big Okay, so I'll stick with this one. We just told you they did. So, yeah. She's got go. a couple of voicemails. Let me see. Yep. Sounds like she was meeting somebody here. Okay, this is evidence. Let's get back to the precinct and give it to CSU. Why not just listen to him now? I better follow procedure on this one. Such a Boy Scout. Hey, if we solve this case, I finally get my murder merit badge. Come on, I'll drive. Ray. Morning, Lenny. Please tell me we got a new lead on the Central Park case. Oh, sure. If you count uh, nothing, not a bupkis. It's been six weeks. The murder weapon is probably at the bottom of the Hudson. I tell you what, I think we're stalled out, kid. I hate loose ends, Lenny. Tell me about it. At my age, I gotta tie him up as fast as I can. Ray Curtis, as I live and breathe, back in my precinct after all these years. What happened? Finally sick of all that California sunshine? My girls got worried if I wasn't solving murders, I might start committing them. You met Detective Benson? I did. She's good. Definitely easier on the eyes than Lenny Briscoe. Yeah, but she's made of steel. Don't cross her, Ray. Wouldn't dream of it. Welcome back. Thanks. Hey, I was gonna take this down to CSU. What the hell? What's wrong? The voicemails. They're all gone. Someone deleted them all. And odds are, it wasn't our victim. Looks like her carrier is Mercury Wireless. Pete Shanahan down in fraud told me they've had some problems with security recently. Okay, so we got another place to go to call Mercury center. Wireless Company policy is pretty clear. I can talk to you up to a certain point, but if we go over, I have to involve corporate counsel. 
They've instructed me to answer your questions and give you access to any relevant data. Understood. Thanks for your time. Could someone delete voicemails off a phone remotely? Sure, that's a feature we offer. How would they do it? Easy. You just need to have the account PIN number, just like your bank ATM. Oh, you were telling the truth. I, I, I don't oh, believe I didn't you. The question. Why would I lie about something like that? We're going to need to check all activity on the phone over the weekend. This isn't Big Brother, despite what you might think. We do track calls, text messages, and data downloads, but not every single interaction. Really? You sure about that? Well, there are other records, but those are internal and restricted. I'm not authorized to show you those. Woo! Got a correct find the Find the first correct one, okay. Yes, yeah, I did it. Woo. You said council already Ooh. authorized you to show us any relevant records. How about it, Mr. Gray? Let's have a look at those restricted records, Mr. Gray. We prefer not to share those personal customer records. It can project a negative corporate image. It would be a complete invasion of our customers' privacy. You guys need a warrant. Yeah, I will check. So clever. How about we go get that warrant? Then we can search your restricted records and it all goes public at trial. How do you think your customers will like finding out you kept secret information about them? Oh my god. Uh, all right. All right. I'll look it up. Who had access to Rachel Trevino's voicemails? Um, according to our account record, only Ms. Trevino. There's no one else listed here. The only other persons with authorized access are myself, our customer representative team, and a few independent technical contractors. I don't so believe you. Bad. Why would I lie about something like that? We're conducting a murder investigation, Mr. Gray. We need to know what happened to those voicemails, and we need to know now. Sure, we can go get a warrant if that makes you feel better. But by that time, more of your customers might end up dead, like Rachel Trevino. That makes for a very negative corporate image. All right, there's no record of who exactly deleted the voicemails. But honestly, someone modified her account about two weeks ago. Who? This is embarrassing, but it was one of our own contractors. He's a bit of a hacker. He could have accessed her information. He did not have company permission to do this. But why? He's a strange guy, detective. Very intense. His name is Tom Newberry. Here's his contact number. One thing, you might not want to call from your precinct. Oh, why not? Tom knows how to crack caller ID. He always knows who's calling and from where. Thanks for the tip. Okay, guys. Um, okay. Weird place for an interview, Curtis. Witness requested we meet here. So, he yeah. thinks it's all a big game. I get the impression he's young. His mom answered the phone when I first called. Speaking of games, good cop or bad cop? Bad cop, definitely. Suits me. Call me Anonymous. We already have your name and phone number, dumbass. We talked to some people at Mercury Telstar. You have a reputation there. People said you're good. Too good, maybe. We thought you might have done something illegal, but they said their security is way too tough for you to crack. <laughs> Please, I wrote their security. The firewalls, the protocol encryption, it's all me, detective. So, you could crack a voicemail account? Stupid easy. What about deleting voicemails? Jeez, In my sleep, detective. 
And what did Mercury tell Star? So guys, I just want to say I will see you guys next time in the next episode. Peace out.